Hello, I'm Edward Halecki with TVP Strategy, and I'm here with Tom Murphy of Turbonomic, formerly VM Turbo, and this is an episode of Virtual Thoughts. Thank you for joining me, Tom. Could you give me a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, Tom Murphy, VP of Marketing at Turbonomic. I've been here for almost a year, and my background is uh, lengthy in IT. So before being in the, the vendor community, I actually managed data centers for a government agency in the uh, United States. Well, thank you for being, thank you for being with us, Tom. Thanks for having me. So, you used to be VM Turbo, now you're Turbonomic. I have my theories why you changed the name, but why? Because it's a pretty major change. Sure. So the first thing we always want to make sure of is that any kind of change like this could be perceived in different ways. Um, with we just announced 24 consecutive quarters of growth, so six years of growth. And for us, the opportunity for us is continually growing and changing. And when we first started as a company, we focus primarily on virtualized machines. And ultimately, over the time, over that six-year period, what we found is companies uh, really decided and leveraged our technology for much broader usage beyond VMs. So containers, cloud are just two of the, the core technologies. And because of that, we felt like the VM uh, name of VM Turbo was very limiting relative to what we had to offer as a company. So by embracing Turbonomic, it gave us an opportunity to go much broader. And there's a, there's a long definition behind, and I'm saying behind Turbonomic, which we get into. But we felt initially like that VM or VM Turbo was just too constrained for what we, rep, what we did and what we rep, represented as a company. Okay. okay. So I look at it as sped up economics. So, in yeah. some way, because you got your whole model for Turbonomic is actually an economic model. Sure. Yes. Yeah, so there's a couple. Let's go into the name itself because I think it does have a nice definition supporting the name. When we think about uh, a couple of things we wanted to do. We wanted to maintain the equity in, in Turbo. So we had VM Turbo. Many of our customers called us Turbo, uh, just as a short name. And so we wanted to maintain that equity. Second is we've built and have always had an autonomic platform, meaning the ability to self-manage. There's many self-managing systems in the world, and the autonomic platform is something that is able to sense change and make dynamic changes in real time for the benefit of our case for application performance. And as you mentioned, there's the economic component to our solution. Economic is where we take the demand of applications we can dynamically match that with underlying supply in real time. So when you take turbo, you take autonomic, you take economic, you end up with this turbonomic term. And thus, it means a lot to our company, that definition. It's not just the name, there's a lot of meaning behind it as well. And the big change is moving away from virtualization. There's a lot of companies doing that today, even we did it. Moving from virtualization to something that's bigger and broader. Yeah. So the container space, the cloud space, the Internet of Things space, which is all based on virtualization, but you actually are broadening your horizon so you're not pigeonholed in just one area. Yeah, I think one of the founding principles of a company is to manage any workload on any infrastructure, really anywhere. So any workload, initially a lot of virtualized workloads, of course, any infrastructure, meaning we're looking across the entire supply chain from storage all the way up to web servers, uh, J2 servers, and then ultimately cloud and container-based technologies. So when we think of this moving away from VM, we're really not we're moving away from VM, we're just embracing more of the technologies that companies are adopting, and the fundamental principle and vision of the company is still in, intact. It's still managed any workload on any infrastructure, it just so happens that the world, right, our customers are embracing a lot of these new technologies that in the past have historically been the primary technology. Now we see more cloud and more container adoption as well. well and the thing is, is that containers and cloud are still built on virtual machines, so you're not losing that part of what your tool That's does. True. You're adding in, oh, now we have containers, now we have much more finer grained capabilities. Absolutely. We're still going up the stack. Right, yeah, fundamentally just built on top of virtualization. I think when we think about projects inside companies, and we want to make sure that we can relate to, be relevant to their projects, organizations always think about, um, sure, cloud would be a project, containers or DevOps would be a project, 
but ultimately, again, still built on the core of virtualized technology. Now, you mentioned DevOps and you mentioned containers, and, and recently the TVP strategy has started to do its major discussion about it, its new reference architecture, which is on the secure agile cloud development. And that pulls in developers and operations and security and everybody in IT into the mix and as well as the business to say, hey, here's a bunch of data you should be looking at and everybody should be looking at the same pool of data no matter who you are. So I'm assuming the same goes with Turbonomic is that you have a pool of data that the business is going to look at, the developers are going to look at, the IT infrastructure, the ops people are going to look at, and the, but they're going to all look at it differently. How do you yeah. cover that gap between you know the business and what IT is looking at are very different points of view? When you refer to data, you're referring to the infrastructure view and what's going on. Yeah, the aspect? economic view, the autonomic view, there are very different, almost opposing views of an infrastructure and environment. Well, what's really powerful about we think about our solution is the ability to use all the individual, let's say, consumers of that data and give them a common view. So whether it's running an infrastructure, building an infrastructure, or planning for the future, what we found is that there's an integrated uh, platform that allows them to take existing real-time information and for example, we can use that for DevOps to do placement decisions about where development should place something and how big they can actually size that placement. And for future capacity, again, we're using real-time information collected from a real-time environment to make what-if decisions about if the volume of users should change or the volume of transactions should change, what would be the impact of that infrastructure. So what's really nice is to have a common language across all those really consumers of that information so they're looking at one source of the truth. We think that's an asset because it does bridge across groups that traditionally have looked at information independently and now we're actually saying that they can look at the same view and actually leverage, again, the single source of the truth. And I would agree with that. That's actually that's a very good way of putting it. Oh, well, thank you. Is there anything else you want to talk, talk, tell us about the name change? Well, the name change really took, lot, took place last week. We're really excited as a company. We think it is an evolution. It's not a revolution. You know, as I started, we talked about the fact that we had four, you know, 24 consecutive quarters of growth in six years. We obviously want this to be really just represent uh, an opportunity of, uh, for the company. And we'll be launching this first time publicly at, at VMworld coming up soon. So we're very excited about it. And if anyone's listening to this and they're coming to be on board, we'd love to have them stop by and we can tell them more about the story. So thanks for having me. Absolutely. So visit Turbonomic at VMworld and other conferences. You guys are very big in the OpenStack community as well. So Absolutely. get an autonomic view for the IT practitioner and the DevOps person and get an economic view for the business person. Absolutely. Kind of yeah. tying it all together as fast as possible. Yeah. And that's how we landed on Turbonomic. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.